What's going on, people? Jam Sketch here. Happy Halloween. Really good customer of mine. He ordered, he wanted a, a hoodie with one of my sketches on it. And he's a big horror fanatic. He's into all the horror flicks and horror movies. And he wanted the infamous sewer scene from the It movies, right, Pennywise. But instead of Georgie, what if it was Chucky, right? trying to get his boat back. That, that would have been a whole lot of interesting stuff going on. A whole lot of gore, a whole lot of horror, a whole lot of slashy slashy. I was like, dude, I can't pass up the opportunity to sketch this, so I'm definitely gonna get down on it. It's crazy because when I first thought about it, I'm like, dude, Pennywise would destroy Chucky. The dude's like a space clown, wizard, sorcerer, boogeyman, right? But if you think about it, dude, I mean, a spoiler alert, okay? I don't know if you guys seen the sequel, It Chapter 2. But I thought about, like, yo, when they beat Homeboy the first time and the second time, it wasn't that hard, man. They, you know, they, it, was a, it was a little struggle. It was a little beef. But the finishing blow was like, dude, what? <laughs> and it made me think, dude, Chucky might have the tool to beat Pennywise. I mean, if you think about it, the dude is, Chucky's no stranger to using brute force, sharp objects, all kinds of weaponry, right? And, uh, well, spoiler alert, I don't know if you guys saw the chapter two, it chapter two, but dude, sticks and stones can break Pennywise's bones and Chucky is known to talk a lot of trash, you know? So we've seen that clown fall to both of those things and Chucky has plenty of that going on. So I don't know, they both got some sinister stuff working for them if they were ever to cross each other. But um, but don't sleep on Pennywise, he's still one of my favorites, all right? Oh and to be honest with you, Chucky might not want none of the smoke because hey Chucky, We all float down here. Alright guys, listen. It's Halloween. My wife's in the background watching her scary movies. She loves them. She's a horror fanatic. You know, uh, more than I am. I'm, I, I like horror too, but I, I love the monsters, you know? I'm into the monsters. This is why I love guys like Pennywise and characters like Chucky and the Freddies and Jasons and Michael Myers and all that stuff. And even the crazier ones. I mean, Predator is sci-fi, but he's a scary dude. So I count him too. I count aliens or the xenomorphs or whatever you want to call them. But um, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Let me get some commentary on the on the the whereabouts of this sketch right now. I'm trying to get the cross-sidedness of Pennywise because I, I love that. It makes it creepier, you know. Um, and I'm sketching them up. Very basic right now. Very flat. Just trying to get the, the 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 drain opening, right, and where his head's gonna be, and this whole composition. And the composition I'm I'm, I'm imagining is, is Chucky reaching in, asking for the SS Georgie back, the boat, the paper boat. Pennywise is like, oh hell yeah, come get that boat, cause you know what I'm about to do when people reach in my drain. You know what's gonna happen. But Chucky got the knife on his back, like, aha, try that with me, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and the story's gonna take a turn. So that's that's the composition right now. And uh, right now I'm putting in Chucky, lay the flats down. You know, gotta move him around a bit, see what, see what works, see what doesn't work. Um, what else we got? Pretty much it, laying all the basic, basic colors. The flat colors, you know. 
just a little mockery of the highlights. Nothing too crazy. And I was like, you know what? I want to get some of uh, Chucky's attire in there. Just a little bit. Just a glimpse. So you know that that's not, that's not Georgie at all. I mean, you already kind of knew because that, that looks nothing like him. But then you see the jumpsuit. Like, okay, that's not Georgie. Something's going on here. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Just blocking stuff out. Composition. And I love this part because people don't remember in the first child's play Chucky had a specific knife it was crazy to me I'm like yo did he come with that knife as a doll did the doll come with that knife but if you look closer there's like voodoo markings on it so he definitely was he, he's been down with the voodoo he already had that voodoo in him like literally and just like chronologically I, the dude just studied the stuff that's why he was able to get his a man spirit into the doll but enough of the cannon. What am I doing right here? Um, just slight emphasis of highlights and shadows. You know, at this point, I'm just like trying to figure things out. Um, what else? What else? Man, looks like I took a bathroom break here. I don't know. Where am I right now? Oh, and I'm back. Okay, we're doing the SS Georgie. Sketching it up. And this is why reference is important. Because I'm sketching up the SS Georgie. And I don't know what it looked like. I'm like, dude, I just drew like an envelope with a hat on it. And that's not the SS Georgie. Man, I got I to gotta pay more respects than that, man. A little boy was mutilated for this thing. So I got to pay respects. I got to draw it right, man. All right. Added some shadows to Pennywise. Because the dude's in the sewer, so the light got to be extra. Extra hidden, you know? Slight bit of photo bashing. Took a scene straight from, um, from the scene. <laughs> Took the scene from the movie. Photo bashed it in there. Threw Chucky over Georgie. Because Georgie didn't cut it. So let's see what Chucky's capable of. Desaturated him. And when I did that, I realized, like, man, that really works for the background. Let me add the raindrops, get the storm in there. Just working, just working on it. Working some highlights in there. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like I'm just adding just slight details here and there. This is when I went ham on Chucky. I'm like, dude, this Chucky's coming out great. I got an idea. Raindrops. So I hit it with a, a layer. Black. Uh, just a regular extra layer over it. Black. I I switched the layer to... Um, oh, crap. What did I switch the layer to? One of the see-through layers. <laughs> I can't remember right now. And then I, um, I messed with the opacity. I brought the opacity down. So it looks like his face is getting wet because the dude's drenched in rain. He got a raincoat on. He's in the rain. It's crazy out there. And Pennywise is smart. He's like, dude, I'm not getting sick. I'm staying in the stores. Nice and cozy. Little smelly. But I'm a demon from out of space, so I don't care. This is how I rock. And I, at this point, I'm like, yo, let me get Pennywise out the way and just work on this background. I added to the water effects going down the drain. And I was not happy with Pennywise. I'm like, dude, he looked more Joker-ish. So I started messing with the face, right? And I'm just having an artistic aneurysm. Like, dude, I got to figure this out. He's not... Pennywise ain't slapping right. So let me flip it. What if I pointed his head more towards Chucky? See what that looked like. And I was like, nah, that's kind of whack. So you're going to see me bouncing back and forth on this idea. And I'm just trying to figure things out at this point, man. So I point him more towards Chucky. I'm like, you know, Pennywise, his his silhouette is so iconic. You'd know if it's him. Even if his back's turned, you know it's him. So I could risk Pennywise's back being shown without his face. I could risk that. Chucky, not so much. If he's in a raincoat and he's in Georgie cosplay, you're not going to read that as Chucky. 
You know, so I had to show Chucky's face. So then I go for another angle. I'm like, okay, Pennywise is a shapeshifter. What if he's bugging out? What if half his face that's visible is smiling, but the other half is just like turning into something way crazier? But then I scrapped that all together, went to references, looked at the face. I noticed Pennywise's face is a lot more babyish than I first gave it credit for. And it's a lot smoother and tighter. He's, Pennywise looks kind of young. If you really look at him, he's a young looking cat. Little old baby face, big head type of dude. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's me getting rid of the monsters grin. I finally reached a Pennywise I'm kind of digging. I said, okay, let me let me hammer in on this. I'm, I'm digging this right now. So I go in. I, I shadow it up a bit more with those grays, get those values in there. Because the skin's white, and that's when you really want to work your values if you want it to pop a bit more, you know? So, and then a, little, a bit more photo bashing. I love the crackles, the little cracks in Pennywise's forehead. Like his paint starting to chip, but it's really his skin, so it's kind of crazy. So I had to get that in there. I went, I, I uh, picked up a uh, paint chipping texture off of Google, and that worked very well. And um, yeah, at this point, I didn't highlight the Pennywise. But yeah, man, shout out to my boy Al Jamal. That dude does a lot for the community. I'ma stick in some uh, ways you can reach him below. The dude, the dude is just awesome all around, man. All around, dude. Sports nut, horror flick nut. That's my boy from way back, so I had to do this for him. He keeps hitting me with the great sketch ideas. So, you know, Al Jamal, if you're listening, dog, hit me with another one, baby. I'm waiting. Um, let me see. A little bit more uh, photo bashing right there. They should change that, man. I, the, the word photo bashing sounds so, like, suspect, man. It doesn't sound like a good thing. We need We need to switch that up. Because it is. It's a good thing, man. The stigma needs to drop that it's a bad thing. If it hasn't already, you know? And yeah, man. Yo, hit up in the comments. Who y'all think would win in this beef? Or who do you think is an ill... Who will be an ill beef for Pennywise? Or who will be a dope beef for Chucky? Like, who would be dope to jump in and just... Just eradicate both of them? Oh, and this is it, man. That's the finished product, baby. Hit that subscribe, that like. Send me all the loves. And uh, yeah, man. I'll see you guys on the next sketch. One.